The views and opinions of the guest do not necessarily reflect the views and opinions of Bod's Mayhem Radio Network, its staff, affiliates, or sponsors. Parental discretion is advised. Welcome to Bod's Mayhem Radio Network. Hey, this is Ben from Stellar Circuits, and you're listening to Bod's Mayhem Hour. Welcome to Bod's Mayhem Hour. Your source for all hard rock, heavy metal, new metal, alternative, punk, horror punk, hardcore, rock, and all local bands with your host, John the Bod, a.k.a. The Bodfather. Hey everybody, welcome to Bods of Mayhem Hour. I'm your host, John DeBod, a.k.a. The Bodfather. And as always, I'm bringing you guys and gals awesome interviews. Today, it's an honor and privilege to have Mr. Ben Bedick. He's the vocalist of Stellar Circuits. They have a new album called Ways We Haunt is out now. And I got a chance to check this album out. And I like a couple songs off this, which I'm not going to give away the whole album. But Skylights is really good. Sleepless Goddess is really good. Go With Your Ghost, Goblin Valley, excellent stuff from this band. So check this album out. So, Ben, how's it going, my man? Doing good, man. How are you? Doing awesome. Glad to have you on the show. Thanks, dude. Really appreciate it. Let's jump right into this. What What's impressed you or either excited you the most about making this album? What's caught your eye the most about it, if anything? Yeah, I mean, it's hard to say. Impressed me, man. I, I, I'm not sure as far as our music is kind of weird but as being excited i think the whole process man was just really great and uh you know when we spent a while recording and writing this we spent like a year and a half close to two years writing it and uh i don't know man it was just great to delve into the process and i i'd say like any time that we were able to just really focus on it and you know those times when you're when you're making something and you just you get a little bit of goosebumps or like butterflies in your stomach and stuff those are always good moments that kind of that make you feel good and make you feel like you're you're on the path of making something cool you know here's something that i noticed about this band with your guys music you guys got kind of long intros to a couple of songs and plus even through the songs itself that don't have those long intros you kind of incorporate it into some of the songs which kind of takes you on like a roller coaster of different sounds of these these songs that you guys have out on this album which is pretty pretty rare these days yeah i mean that's just a testament to the kind of music we like you know i mean we all we all like different kinds of stuff but mainly like things that are dynamic you know what i mean necessarily like we like heavy and aggressive things that take it to the max but also really into you know atmospheric things as well so it's just it's just fun to be able to play around with that and you know explore all those different things because i mean it's just a you know a testament to our personalities like i mean we're pretty extreme dudes and eccentric at times but um we're never one way for too long, so I think that's it's kind of reflected in the music we make. Now you said you guys sat on these songs for a while. Did you ever think this is not going to happen? Did we need to get these on these pretty quick? <laughs> you know, I probably those thoughts crept in, but it's just like it, it's hard to explain, man. It's not too much like I don't know. It's just one of those things that like writing and and like doing this album is just something that's like innate in us, and like you just kind of need to do it. So it. It's it is a struggle to like have such a long process, especially like once we recorded the record and completed it, we had to wait around for months and months just because like the business side of it and, and the distribution and all that. So I mean, it can be a challenge, but at the same time, you know, it's just like one of those things that we just keep putting one foot in front of the other, and you know, it, it ended up working out. But yeah, it was it was kind of grueling to wait so long to release it, but now that it's here, it's uh, it's just finally getting to take a breather for like two seconds, you know. For sure, for sure. Any songs off the new album stand out more to you than any on it as of right now possible? I mean, I know these are like picking your favorite collectible or child or <laughs> any that stand out for you. Yeah, maybe? yeah. I mean, it, it's hard for me to do that, man, just because, you know, every one of them is just like, I know when we're in the middle, and I can speak for myself, like when I'm in the middle of writing each one, it's like each one of them is the most important thing in the world to me, so you know, I, I think at different times I might, you know, be parcel to one or if I'm, you know, angry one day i might resonate with one more if i'm feeling a little more introspective maybe another but you know for the most part it's just like they're just different sides of my personality so it's hard to you know say i like one more than the other i, I think they're all cool for what they are you know what i mean who produced this album for you guys or did you do it yourself the album was produced by jamie king in our hometown of winston-salem and he worked with bands like contortionist and uh bt band and stuff like that so it was really really a cool experience 
Working with Jamie, did he push you guys, or did he step in when he need, when he needed to? Let's talk about that a little bit. How was working with him on this? Nah, I mean it wasn't really that kind of relationship, and it, I mean it was more as just he, he engineered and produced the album for us, but not in you know what some people think of as producers like helping write songs or anything. Nothing really like that. It's just because uh, we had the material written when we went there, but I mean it definitely helped us elevate it to a, another level just because of his experience, his know how, and you know not to mention that his taste in music and the stuff that he's worked on with his band and with bands that he's produced is more up our alley. So it was, uh, it was just cool to have another head in the room to bounce ideas off. But for the most part, it, it was, uh, pretty straightforward as far as the material being completed when we went into the recording process. Ben, what do you hope the folks take away from the new album or message you hope that they hear while listening to just any of your guys' music at all? That's something I've thought about a bit, and I don't have anything specific that I want people to take away from it. My, my main thing with music is that just it's affecting. And, I mean, if you have some kind of reaction to something and some kind of emotional reaction, I think uh, – that it's that's a good thing and i mean i can't i can't really i don't really have any intention for for people other than you know i guess i could say that a lot of the music for me is introspective so it, it helps me like sort of hold up a mirror to myself and kind of delve into those issues and ideas and within that i sort of start to see my own perception as far as the world around me so i wouldn't necessarily say that's my intent for people when they you know, listen to it and come away with something. I would think if people do listen to our album and come away with something and it, and it affects them in some kind of way, it, to me, that's a, it's done its job then. How much growth musically have you seen this band and yourself go through up to the release of this new album? Or has it just been more of a personal growth for each of you guys involved in this? We definitely all grew a lot, man, personally and collectively, immensely, exponentially, I would say. It's, uh, it, was a, it was a long process, but it really ended up, uh, like I said, being not only an individual but a collective growth as a band, I think we really uh, we really stepped it up on this one as far as like taking our time and delving into the artistic process. So it was uh, it was exciting, man. I think uh, I think we really stepped it up for this one. When you guys come into the recording aspect of this, do you guys do anything differently during that writing and recording process to to help keep your mind fresh and open to not let the music get stale and and get new ideals, things like that. Let's talk about that a little bit. But yeah, I, I just think the main thing is like, you know, like I said, being true to yourself man, and like listening to what you think about it. I think, I mean, for us, a big part is, you know, closing off the world around us when we're making music. We don't really want any influence from, you know, outside perception for the most part. And like the way we feel around different people can be the way that we feel cannot be the same sometimes, you know, the way you feel when you're by yourself, you know, mm -hmm. thinking about things or, or doing things. So I think it's just, important to be able to like listen to that you know creative voice inside or whatever you want to call it and and be true to that i think that's the most important thing what can fans expect at a show from stellar circuits who have not got to see you guys live as of yet what are they going to get when they come to see you guys live i think we're definitely a really in your face band live and that's sometimes it's a little bit different i think from our record experience which is one thing but also yeah when when we play a show it's really we leave everything out on the table every time so it's definitely something that we take pride in is, is really, you know, going balls to the wall and putting ourselves out there when we play. And it's just, we don't know any other way to do it. So I guess what people could expect is crazy shit. <laughs> <laughs> do you like the digital era of recording albums to get music out quicker now and plus social media to, to reach out to more fans who have not got to hear of stellar circuits as of yet? Do you, do you like this that we're living in right now? I mean, I, I, I don't, I don't really think about it too much to be honest with you I, I think it is what it is you're you know we're in the time period that we're in and i think sometimes it's easy to spend a lot of time like you know having this like golden age mentality about music or really anything and you know i think there was a lot of great music that came out before and i'm a huge history buff when it comes to art and music so i can appreciate that but at the same time you know there's a lot of exciting things going on with music today and you know although it's changing from the archetypes that we've come to know i i think there's a lot of exciting things in music today so some things aren't as you know exciting as far as you know especially from an album perspective a, a lot of people are looking more for individual songs and things like that but as far as like being able to spread your music to a lot of different people that's a really exciting thing and so i think it's just important to stay true to what's important to you as an artist or a band and you know, there's, there's always going to be differences and everything's always changing every day. So I just, I don't know, for me, it's just kind of important not to get too wrapped up in that stuff and just stay focused on, you know, making music and connecting with people and 
doing that any way you can without compromising your art, I'd say, is a good way to go. In your own opinion, man, what does Stellar Circuits bring to the table for music that's not out there as of right now? It's kind of hard for me to say, man. Like, my own opinion of my own music, I think, can kind of be a moot point for the most part when it comes to other people's perception of it. I mean, I think I think we bring a unique aspect to the music that we make. Uh, but at the same time, I, I really, I, I really don't focus more on that. It's more of just, like I said, being true to you know what we find creatively exciting and you know expressing that part of ourselves. And we just have the belief that if, if something resonates with us and we feel good about it, about you know sharing it with people, then you know it, it really, it really doesn't matter what the response is to that. Then as long as you know we feel good about what we've done, that's really all that we can go on. How much local support does Stellar Circuits get, especially like uh, venue and plus airplay? How, how much local support do you guys get, possibly? I mean, we've had some great support, man. It's you know we have a lot of great friends and bands around where we're from, and uh, you know I, we we get a lot of great support. You know, it's it's awesome to be around people that are you know showing you love and you know helping encourage you to to stay on the path so i'd say we, we get quite a bit of support from from our hometown and that's it's a great thing what made you want to become a musician what was that spark for you ben that said yeah that's what i want to do possibly what it was man was i i had a friend of mine that played guitar for a long time and we were like best buds in high school and you know i i actually i got the chance to go see him play with somebody that was playing harmonica and when I saw that, that's what initially got me into music was I, I just had to be a harmonica player and I had to play blues music and I had to do it. So I didn't really think too much except that's what I got to do. And then that led me to play guitar, become a vocalist, play different kinds of musics. But that was definitely the, the initial thing was the first time I saw somebody playing some electrified harmonica on stage, I was like, okay, I gotta, <laughs> I gotta be a musician. <laughs> Is there a country that stands out or shocks you that Stellar Circuits get support from possibly? Have you seen anything maybe? I mean, honestly, dude, I think it's shocking that, you know, somebody in another place hears our stuff. So anytime that happens, it's pretty shocking. I I mean, I will say we, we definitely have a love for Australia and that kind of music out there as far as progressive and heavy music. So it's, it's really cool anytime uh, we get support from somebody reaching out from the other side of the world there. But like I said, I mean, Somebody hits us up in California or really anywhere. It's just uh, it's just a great feeling to know that you know somebody's listening and, and appreciates what you've done. And I don't think you can mull mull over it too much more than that. You know. Right. Have you guys had that show or, or a moment that that made you say, "Yeah, this is worth everything we've put into this so far." Have you guys had that moment yet? Possibly. You know, I think that those moments come you know periodically, but most recently, I would say. Uh, you know, one, just being on this tour that we're on now and getting out and, and hitting the road was a big thing. But also, when we did our release show in our hometown, it was a week before the album came out, but we did an early release show. And, and that was definitely a big moment for us, just the, the support that we had, the people that came from out of town and, you know, how we felt about the show and just being in our hometown. It was a, it was a great time. And, and it was definitely one of those moments that, you know, it says it tells you that, uh, you know, all the things that you've sacrificed and work you put in is, is worth it. So that would be it. <laughs> ben, I want to thank you for taking time out to do this interview with me. And I wish the Stellar Circuits uh, all the best of luck, man. And you got a supporter right here in Bod's Mayhem Hour. That's for sure. Good, sir. Hey, thanks very much, man. I appreciate you uh, taking the time to uh, talk to me for a minute. How can folks stay in touch with you guys by this new album? Plus, you know, you said you're on tour right now. And plus merchandise. How can you do that? All that stuff uh, is easily found just by Googling the band. Uh, we're on all social media sites and stuff like that. So send us a message on Facebook, and we'll hit you back ASAP. And before I let you go, good sir, would you care to do a promo for my show? Sure. Hey, this is Ben from Stellar Circuits, and you're listening to Bod's Mayhem Hour. Everybody stick around. we got some great, great music coming up, and you only hear these interviews right here on Bod's Mayhem Hour and Bod's Mayhem Radio Network. Please go out and check out our Facebook page, of course, Bod's Mayhem Hour. We have our podcast link there, and plus our YouTube page link there as well. Also, please check out Stellar Circuits. I think you guys are going to dig their music. Give them a chance. That's all I ask for, folks. Ben, thank you so much, and have a safe tour, man. Hey, thank you, man. Have a great day, brother, and uh, good luck on your Odyssey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Assassin's Creed Odyssey is kicking our ass right now. <laughs> yeah. Cheers, brother. Have a good one. I 